Video number five, this is actual event conditioning, could be done prior to or after, um, depending on the time of the season. First we start with kickbacks. This is to keep the shoulder square as you kick the round off over. And always do both legs, even if one is their dominant side. Then a pass of needle walks, again, trying to keep the shoulders square. And when they lift the arms, lead with the wrist so that the shoulders are not broken on the way up or the way down. Full range of motion. All right, then the second exercise is a short run, round off, tight legs on the board, getting the arms up fast to a stand. On the way back, Cartwheel step-ins all the way down, working on the speed of the legs and the quickness off the floor, opening the shoulders to complete push-out. Next, they come right over here to where we have a resi pit up against a wall. This is also, again, to get the hands off the floor quickly and reach back without the fear of the table. Block to a stand. Do that one more time. Cartwheel step and reach up fast and stand up. Very good. Also then for blocking and staying open upon contact. And come back down. One more time. Try not to do the step down on the other side so that the hips and the armpits stay open. This little exercise here I call the sacrimony drill because I saw Alicia do it. Obviously, it's again for quick plyometrics off the floor. You can add the kick opening, which is for coordination and also for very active hamstrings. The next drill, jump to candle. Obviously for shaping. This is more off the table work. And I love this exercise here. This is for the kick isolating just the muscles used to snap off of the table into the somersault. All of these are in order of the way you would vault from the run to the board to the table and to the shape. Now, after all that is done, we do timers up. This is a great drill, takes a little practice. May need to start on a lower surface. This is a very high surface to a stand over here and let you see this setup. We're in a resi pit. There's a four inch vat, full resi, large barrel. And I usually put um, lots of mats on both sides because a lot of times at the beginning they fall off from side to side. The reason that I like this is it forces them to stand up on the board and stand up on the table and also have the snap. We'll do one more. All right. After this, we take all of the barrels out, everything. We do layouts up to the resi pit and then begin our optional vaulting.